Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. We often come across situations in natural language processing where we want to identify similar sentences. It is here that hugging face has come to our rescue. So in today's video, I'll show you how you can utilize awesome sentence transformers by hugging face and derive insights with respect to how similar two sentences are. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video by the installation. So in order to utilize the amazing sentence transformers, the first thing that I'll have to do is install sentence transformers. So the way I would do that is by calling the command pip install minus q sentence underscore transformers. So let me quickly run this cell. Now that the installation is done, the next step is to import the necessary modules. In this example, I'll require the sentence transformer from sentence underscore transformers. I'll also require the function cosine underscore similarity to determine how similar two vectors are. And lastly, I'll require pprint to print out the output in a more readable format. So let me go forward and run the cell. Now that the imports are complete, let me go forward and download our model. So for the current example, I'm using the paraphrase mini LM L6 V2 model. There are tons of model available, so you can pick and choose based on your specific requirement. One awesome thing that I discovered is there are models that are available in different languages such as French and others. Feel free to explore more on the Hugging Face website. Let me now go forward and download this model. Given this was a smaller model, the download happened really quickly. So let's go forward. The next thing that I've done is I've created a list with the name sentences. In this list, there are four sentences that I have. Two of them are positive reviews centered around the Apple M1 MacBook Air. And the final two reviews are basically negative reviews for some different laptop. I kind of caught hold of these four reviews and I want to find out how similar they are using the sentence transformer. So let me go forward and run this cell to create this list variable. Now the model has been downloaded. We have the sentences ready. The next thing that we have to do is encode the sentences using the model. So let me go forward and call the function encode and pass in the sentences. Now let me show you the different sentences along with its embeddings. So let me run the cell. So this is the first sentence and this is the corresponding embedding for this particular sentence. Similarly, you have a combination of sentences and embeddings printed here. So that is what we have here. Let me now show you the length of sentence underscore embeddings. It's four and the reason is very simple. We have four sentences. 
and now if I run this command length of sentence underscore embeddings of zero then essentially it will give me the length of each embedding that is there so let me run the cell so every sentence is encoded into a 384 dimensional vector and that is what you see here now let us go forward and see where the sentence embeddings can be utilized Before I unhide the cell, a quick recap, the first two sentences were extremely positive, the last two reviews or the last two sentences were extremely negative for a product review. So with that in mind, let me quickly unhide the cell now. In the highlighted piece of code, what I am doing is, I am printing out the similarity between sentence 1 and sentence 2 and I am also finding the cosine similarity. The more similar two sentences are, the more closer the cos of that value is closer to 1. So essentially if the two values are same, then essentially the angle between them would be 0 and cos of 0 would be equal to 1. So let me go forward and run the cell. So as you can clearly see, it says that similarity between nothing much to say as it's a MacBook, the M1 processor works like a charm. This is the first sentence. And the second sentence is, amazing laptop, super performance with M1, it's blazing fast. And the value of similarity is 0.61. So both of them are reasonably similar to each other. That is something that I can infer from this particular value. I'll carry out a similar exercise between the first sentence and the third sentence. So the indices correspondingly would be 0 and 2. So let me quickly run the cell. So the first sentence is extremely positive and the second statement that I've fed into this particular input is a negative sentiment statement. So the second statement is working very slow and takes close to 15 to 20 minutes to start, thus not worthy for money. So the similarity between these two sentences is 0.2. So it's closer to zero that simply indicates that it's not very similar and both of them are kind of opposite in nature. So that is something that I can infer from the value here. Let me pick up the two negative reviews and see how similar they are. So let me quickly run the cell. So when I look at the output, the output is comparing the sentences 3 and 4 which are both negative in nature and the similarity between both the negative statements is extremely high that is the value is close to 0.58. So essentially the sentence transformer can be used to categorize sentences into different clusters based on the different requirements that are there. So essentially having the entire sentence encoded into a vector and that can essentially differentiate between different sentences would really create a lot of use cases going forward. If you've watched the video till this point right from the start, then I'm pretty sure you would be wondering ways in terms of how you can integrate the amazing sentence transformers in your day-to-day -day NLP workflows. So this is what I had in today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do like the content that I create on my channel, it would be super, super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching the video.